All right, the still sports this morning. Uh, I guess we have to go on another break right now. Yes, mm -hmm. um, I think it's time to go on a break. Mm -hmm. And Enyba champions once again <laughs> for the seventh time. The Other people's elephant. Elephant. Mm -hmm. I can imagine the celebrations in about right now. Let's have a look at how they did it against um, Warrior Wolves um, on Sunday, where it was really jam packed and um, a lot of fans turned up to actually um, support Enyba in that game. And of course, nice defend, defensive work put up there by Warrior Wolves, Lost City Chul. Take another look, Lost City Chul with a diving header, taking the ball away from the leg of Mfonudo. Mfonudo, very surprised, where did that man come from? But it was a great defense put up by Chul. And at this point, nice chest It was Onyekachi that would have put him by head. But again, a clattered into the goalkeeper who read his move very well and also came out, goalkeeper came with the order. Take another look at that. Well timed move for Onyekachi. But then the goalkeeper also timed Onyekachi very well and came out. The ball almost running away from him, stretched his leg very well, but couldn't make any contact with the ball. Good goalkeeping by Okimute Oda. And the Warrior Wolves are through. Namado made a move. Dimba escaped his marker, escaped the second marker, Udoji. And this time, Golao Salami three on him a little tap on his uh, cl on his jersey find some move but uh, not any strong opportunity for a call of penalty as he would have loved take another look at luck move again great move from dimba nice left footed pass to salami and of course he was surrounded there and you can see the tap from no other person in fire and scoring against his former club on that day he scored the equalizer against visiting rangers international of enugu on this arena and so play momentarily stopped enyimba enji is a chant from the fans Nsobu, nsobu. All right, welcome back from that. Uh, yes, Ayimba doing the job there. Seven-time champions in the Nigeria Professional of Football League. Uh, let's uh, find out what the papers are saying on the show today. Uh, it's time for the Sports Paper Review. And we have our guest, Bada Akitude Johnson, the sports analyst who joins us uh, right about now. It's great to have you on the show. Always fantastic to be here. Mm -hmm. Good morning, mm -hmm. and welcome. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, of course, I'm sure you saw morning. the game. You yeah, great, great, great weekend. <laughs> great weekend from all, uh, you know, Faulkner's yeah, Golden I mean, I came in with my scarf. Oh, oh, fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Great awesome. Nigeria. Congratulations, Nigerians. It must be said um, that we've won it four times, doesn't, or five times rather, yeah. uh, or four times in the past, doesn't mean that we should downplay the significance mm. or the symbolism of being uh, the outright um, record winners of this particular competition. Yes, like um, uh, Godin Judorum quite rightly said, we would have wished that our previous conquest at this level would have translated to success at under 20 um, and senior national team level, but it hasn't quite you know, gone that way over the years but um, that doesn't mean that we should trivialize you know um, the victory the, yeah, yeah the significance of this victory um, it's a job well done by Emmanuel Amunike, uh, Amunike's boys um, they, they have put Nigeria on the football map yet again um, we have defended the trophy and um, playing some fantastic football along the way and like I said on this particular show a few weeks back if two years down the line uh, we can produce another here another you know Taiwa Woni um, who you know, find their way to some of the best clubs in the world, uh, we would have done, you know, something really remarkable. Uh, because, I mean, you can't tell me that on the form of Hiyana Cho playing for City, that he won't play for the senior national team anytime soon. And that's what we want to see, progression. And once that happens, then, you know, it means our joy can be truly and really full. Mm. Yeah, uh, yes, um, um, Bada, we're yeah. looking at um, Leon Balogun once again. He is pulled out of the um, of the national uh, team because of injury, and uh, I'm thinking to myself, is it, is it fast gaining becoming um, injury prone um, at this stage of his career? Because I remember um, he's pulled out of uh, several um, other national assignments uh, for the country as well. So I'm wondering what's happening to the guy. Oh well, I mean, injuries are part of football. Unfortunately, yeah. uh, some players have it more than than others. And I thought that Leon Balogun has had this injury at a very, very um, important time when he's beginning to come into his own in the national team. Um, the jury was out on his performances up until the last few games, the yes. last two games against Congo DR and Cameroon when he played in central defence. And I thought that he acquitted himself uh, quite well. Um, it didn't look to me like he was maybe um, not 
fully, you know, on top of his game, playing on the right side of defense, yeah, uh, getting um, up and down, you know, the right side wasn't so easy for him because, I mean, probably doesn't have a great engine on him, uh, doesn't have the, the pace, you know, to, to play 90 minutes going up and up down. And down yeah. But down the centre, he looked quite comfortable, dealt with um, aerial balls quite competently, um, ball to feet as well. He ran the ball out of defence, you know, quite confidently um, and was calm and composed. Uh, displayed the kind of attributes that you want in a top class the central defender yeah. and provided an option, more importantly, for Sunday Ulisse. Unfortunately, he's out of the Swaziland match, but I, I don't think that would be a challenge. Swaziland, Swaziland on paper, <laughs> I was going to say Switzerland. Swaziland on paper uh, shouldn't pose much of a challenge for the Super Eagles, but it would have been nice to have the full complement of the team. Yeah, so, um, a sad one for Leon Balogu. Yeah, mm. sure. Okay, I think there's something coming from coming up from Sports, sports Day. Day. It's all about Eaglets, of course, winning. Mm. But there's this one, Idea Six Six Eaglets Eagles, Eagles Recall. Oh dear. Okay, no, he actually one. scored another goal in Greece. With yeah, Oli he's Kepa. making a strong case for a recall to the national team. Remember, um, he scored that very, very critical goal against um, Dynamo Zagreb, yeah, um, ma match day three uh, in the Champions League. The weekend, Arsenal beat um, uh, Bayern 2 uh, to sort of, you know, tilt the dynamic of the group in their favour. Yeah. As we speak, uh, Olympiacos are on nine points, Arsenal yes, are on three. Yeah. So they look favourites to, to go through uh, behind the Bayern Munich. And um, he's also been doing well in the in the Greek um, 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 Super League. So, um, and Olysi has said that he's only going to play players who are playing regularly for their clubs. And this guy is playing regularly and he's scoring. I mean, he's playing at the highest level of club football, the UEFA Champions League. Um, the goal he scored against Dynamo Zagreb, I must mention, was a fantastic strike from an acute angle on his weaker foot. Um, it looks to me like a player who's getting his confidence back after his record move to West Brom yes. didn't quite go, go right. Yeah. So, um, if he's playing well, he definitely deserves a recall. Yeah, definitely he will deserve that. Okay, Oji Okonko, thanks. I'm going to now the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. A lot about the golden eagles. It's all about yeah, the golden eagles, really. really. And, and why wouldn't we talk about them? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to speak a, a little more about the, the eagles' um, feet. Mm. Um, of course, the team as a whole impressed, but they were standout players. Yes. Um, I thought, forget the FIFA awards that they won. We should celebrate um, Wakali and Osime especially. Okay. Those are special talents. They are as, as top quality as they come anywhere in the world. Osime looks to me like like a modern day version of Rashidi, Rashidi yeah, yes. you know, he's tall, he's imposing, he's got power, um, he's got presence, he knows how to finish, you knows know, how to position he knows himself. how to position himself, he runs the channels quite quite impressively, he can hold the ball up, he can get other people involved in play, um, he's smashed, you know, the all-time highest goal scorer record at the, at the tournament. I remember when, when Florence in the Mapongo oh, did it. Yeah. Um, in 2001, oh, yeah, um, yeah. you know, Trinidad. Um, in Trinidad and Tobago. It looked it, as if no one was going to get to that Exactly, that it looked like an incredible haul, you know, over, um, what, a 6-7 game tournament? Yes. But this guy has come in um, and has done it, scored in every, every game. game. Like the first player to Jocino do that. Of yeah, Brazil, of, yeah, in 1970. Um, yeah. It's, it's, you know, I don't know if it's, it will still be regarded as the Anotado scorer, because that's what <laughs> Jezino was called, then, um, which, is a, which is what they call people who score in every, every game, game. You know, tournament game. Yeah. So you can't take it lightly. I, I can I can be absolutely sure that the likes of Arsenal, Real Madrid, you know, Bayern, Manchester City, the world, Man United, and looking at this player yeah, because sure. he looks very, very much a natural, lethal finisher. Striker. Ball to feet, ball in the air, <laughs> very comfortable. Can Everywhere. play with his chest, can play with his back to post. He's got all the attributes of a fantastic talent who should go on to, to do great things in, in the world of football. I can't mm. wait to see these guys uh, ripping defenses apart in Europe all and right. in Africa for Nigeria. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, probably yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, definitely.